teaching around the world. Hi, so my name is Sarah Melodian and I am a tutor at university. At the moment I teach uh, undergrad uh, pre-service teachers, both primary school and high school, um, and I teach them in various subjects. GEMS 12 Quick Questions, Teaching Around the World. Question number one. Number of students in your class? It varies depending on uh, which class it is. Uh, technically on the roll I usually have between 25 and 30 students in the class but not all of them turn up all the time. So usually I have between uh, say 7 and 20 students per class on a regular basis. What do your students call you? Uh, usually it is Sarah or Seraphim. Um, some of them when they're very the very young undergrads, the first years, sometimes call me Miss, which is a bit weird, um, and sometimes because they have forgotten my name, which is why they just go with Miss. But um, I always remind them I am just Seraphim. How many hours do you teach a day? That's a difficult question because I am a sessional teacher. Um, I only have a couple of classes a week. Um, so on average, I teach between two and four hours a day and on average it's a couple of days a week. What's the best thing about being a teacher in your country? I'm very privileged and honoured to be able to uh, be teaching some Indigenous history uh, and some Indigenous culture. So I think that's what I love most about teaching in Australia is that I can access and share this with my students. When does your school day start and finish? That depends. So on the days that I'm not teaching, some days I am writing lesson plans for the upcoming um, classes. The students usually have a lecture online and then they come to class in a tute, we chat about the lecture, we chat about the readings, we um, elaborate further on uh, the general themes of the of the week. So when I get up I'll walk the dog, I have some breakfast, I have a shower, I get dressed, that kind of thing. Um, and then I'll go to uni to teach if it's a teaching day um, or I'll stay at home and work on lesson plans if it's a lesson plan day um, or I do all the other things that I do on the days that I'm not doing those things. How many staff meetings per week? So I have an official staff meeting a week. Uh, we do it over Zoom um, because the subject that I taught last semester was being taught in Melbourne, Bendigo, Mildura, Shepparton, somewhere else too. Um, so all the, all the tutors aren't in the same uh, place. So we have a meeting over Zoom on a Friday afternoon. And then I have um, an unofficial staff meeting as well, which happens last semester, it was happening every Sunday, uh, with two young tutors in Melbourne. We touch base and discuss our thoughts and ideas and our plans, which has been really helpful. When is your big holiday and how long is it for? So that would be the Christmas break. Um, I finish marking around the end of October, the sort of start of November, I think. And then because university doesn't uh, go back until March, I've got till March um, before I have to start working again, which in a way is great because uh, then I get to do three months of sitting around and making stuff and doing all that sort of thing. Um, being a sessional tutor, there is a problem with it too though, so I don't get paid over that. So I have, th there are some grumpy magpies out here. So I have three months without being paid and my husband is also a sessional tutor, so we both have the three months of holidays with no pay. What technology do you use in your classroom? Uh, so the technology I use is my laptop, which I'm reading all the questions off, um, and the projector. So the classroom comes with a projector and I use a lot of YouTube clips. Um, we look at the readings online because everything is on what's called LMS, which is a learning management system. So it's a, um, it's a system that all the students log into and that's where all the, they find their classes and all the information and the readings and all that sort of stuff. So it's mainly my laptop and the projector. What is your most valuable teaching strategy? Oh, so I think, I think being personable and I think being honest and I think just being a person, you know, like I don't feel like I am the great authority and all my students must shush and just, you know, absorb my brilliance. Um, what I, how I think about teaching is that we are all on this journey together and um, so I'm here to share some experience and some knowledge because I've got a bit more knowledge than the students on most of these topics. but. Um, they also know more about some of the stuff than I do and we have a chat and we share knowledge. 
just be yourself and be interested in what the students have to say because their contributions are just as valuable as yours. Yeah, because we're all on this learning journey together. So that's my most valuable teaching strategy. Is that a strategy? How do you get to school? Usually I catch the bus. Sometimes I drive, but not very often. What is the biggest issue affecting education in your country? Oh, these are some big questions. The, the problem with the um, single focus in a classroom, so that so much stuff is presented here from a white Western point of view, um, so much like history and uh, texts that are chosen and just everything is super whitewashed for want of a better term. Um, that's a real problem and that a lot of teachers don't think they have enough time or don't think it's important to ensure their classroom is inclusive. So ensuring that they're teaching lessons in different ways to accommodate different learners, um, to ensure that the subjects that they're teaching is taught with sensitivity and um, care, especially if they're teaching subjects that could affect the mental health of the students that they have. Um, and teachers not really paying attention to the individuals in their classroom. So just rolling out the class that they have to teach without really paying attention to uh, the specifics of the individual students who are in their classroom. I think we can do a lot better in that um, that aspect of teaching. What's the one thing you want your future students to know about you? Oh, that's a, you know that's that's the hardest question of all. Problem is they've got Google, right? So they're going to find out a bunch of about me anyway. That um, that I'm really interested in education um, in and of itself. Um, I have big things about education and uh, how we use education, how we roll it out in classrooms, how we teach it to our students, what we choose to uh, share and what we choose to leave on the sidelines. I'm really serious about education. Um, I'm really serious about helping my students be the best teachers they can and so in turn that they can then help their students be uh, the best they can be and that's a big responsibility but um, it's a big honour as well like and it's pretty exciting. It makes me very happy that I'm a teacher and it makes me very happy that I'm teaching future teachers because we're shaping the future of Australia really. <laughs>